Back to the breaking news this midday. Two local banks will merge. Sources tipped off 10 of your side's Andy Fox about the story last night, and we broke it to you last night at 11. Well, right now, Andy Fox just finished a news conference in Suffolk. And Andy, what is the latest? Well, this is a really big deal, and that's why we've been going live. The merging of Monarch Bank, and this is Brad Schwartz here, and Bob Asson with Town Bank, the merging of these two banks will create the number one community bank with the number one market share of the top 50 markets in the country. And the biggest question is, with the merging of these two companies, what does this mean for your customers? How will I feel the impact of this? Well, I think what you'll see is, is a, a great uh, community asset, uh, a bank with uh, all the tools, if you will, to meet the financial needs of the public, and a staff in, in our organization and out of both of our organizations that's dedicated to pleasing and serving others. Right. This is, this is a big day for Monarch. I mean, to join with Town Bank and you take the top two community banks in Hampton Roads and create the number one bank is big. And, what will and it mean for your customers? I'm getting there. So what it's, gonna do, <laughs> what it's gonna do for us is by being a little larger, we can lend more money to our top clients. And we've always needed to do that to help grow the economy. Um, it's gonna help us give more back to the community. It's gonna, uh, we'll be able to offer more products and services, which we don't offer today. Insurance, for Insurance example. is a good example. Um, we can rent, rent houses somewhere to people, which we don't do now. We can help sell houses. And um, so it's, it's going to be a great day for our clients when we, when we close this deal. With the merging of these two companies, what is the layoff? Will you have any layoffs? We don't anticipate excessive numbers of that, but our business plan for that is going to take us about 60 days to put that together. And, uh, and we essentially are working to minimize that at the lowest possible level. The new bank will be called Town Bank, and you were talking earlier about how you have Monarch banks across the street from Town Bank banks. How will you determine which branches close? Well, well, we'll look at a number of factors. Obviously, the locations are pretty comparable in all cases. Uh, some of it will be driven by facilities that we own or we lease, and, uh, and so there will be a business part of that decision. But at the end of the day, no customer will be inconvenienced because we're very close to one another. I only have 30 seconds left. Regulators, are you, do you have any fear of this being approved by the feds? No. Uh, both banks enjoy stellar reputations in that, uh, in that arena, and uh, we would not anticipate any issues with that at all. Okay, and when did this deal finally come together? What was going on behind the scenes? Well, I guess it finally came together yesterday when uh, Brad's uh, board uh, voted uh, at uh, 6 o'clock last night, I guess. And uh, so we are, uh, we're off to the races. Okay, Bob Aston, and we've got Brad Schwartz here, Monarch, Town Bank, combining. And we will have more on this coming up today on Wavy News 10 of 4. In Suffolk, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.